Durham says there was an outside company with ties to the Clinton camp uh, monitoring server data info on the executive office of the president through the Obama administration, possibly into the Trump administration. Uh, do you know if there's still a system picking up server data on the EOP, and if not, when it stopped? Again, I, I know you asked my colleague a few questions about this the other day, uh, but I would point you any questions about this to the Department of Justice. And then is what was described in the, the filing there, monitoring Internet traffic, is that, generally speaking, would that be considered something along the lines of spying? Again, I would point you to the Department of Justice. I'll, depo- I'll point you to the Department of Justice, Saki Bomb tells everybody about the Durham report, which... Not much of an answer here. Is monitoring Internet traffic of a rival political candidate spying? Well, let's ask if this was happening in, I don't know, if this was happening in Honduras or in Vietnam or in Ukraine, uh, I think the answer would be yes, it is spying to do that. But we can't get any answers from this White House on anything. Look. Clay and I are going to follow the Durham report situation closely as it continues to unfold. Durham has a reputation for being a dogged, relentless, and non-political, as much as one can be. Everybody brings their own thoughts to this stuff, prosecutor and investigator. But remember, and Clay, this is the key point, and we're seeing more and more of this. It doesn't matter what the evidence is. It doesn't even matter what the report finds. If the Biden DOJ does not want to bring charges against Anybody up to and including Hillary Clinton herself, it doesn't happen. So I don't want people getting ahead of themselves thinking, oh, we're going to lock her up. Not while Biden's in office, you're not. No way. Here's an easy thought experiment. You just heard what Jen Psaki said when she was asked that question, which credit, by the way, the media member who asked that question, because it is a very valid thing to be asking. What do you think the response would have been if the allegations had come out the exact same way, except Trump? had been being accused of spying on Hillary Clinton. Do you think that they would have said, oh, you know, we're not really going to get into that. That's a Justice Department question. Or do you think they would have said, well, this is further evidence of why the former president was a direct threat upon the sanctity of American life and democracy and why we need to investigate January 6th to such an extent, on and on and on. Your answer would have been totally different. You'd have an endless parade of half-wit legal analysts on CNN talking about whether you could try a president in office for treason or something. I mean, they would be they would be taking the dial of their uh, hysteria to eleven on this stuff, and th- there aren't you know look there are no good answers they can offer up on this because for anybody who's been paying attention to the Russia collusion lie from the very beginning, this was all a setup. It was a political hit job. It was a hoax. And it's the biggest dirty trick that anyone's ever seen in politics in my lifetime, for sure. So what are they going to say? It's kind of like the mask thing. We were wrong. We're idiots. Sorry. No, they're never going to say that. Although that you don't think that's going to be in the State of the Union opening line from Joe Biden. (laughs) I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm an idiot. There's no justification. I'm going to tell you I'm too old for the job. I'm not smart enough for the job. And I'm going to give it to Kamala, except that's going to make it worse. Think about it. I think there will probably be a prolonged uncomfortableness as he attempts to take his mask off and then begin reading off the teleprompter. 